Hello everyone, this is Jackpa with your days and my name is Bimbo. For those who are just meeting us for the first time, Jackpa with your days is a channel where you can get relevant and important information on how you can Jackpa or relocate to Portugal. And for today, I'll be sharing an important information regarding jobs in Portugal. And this information will be particularly important for those who want to jump back to Portugal through work visa. And for those who are already in Portugal, because I've seen a couple of our subscribers asking me that Portugal is a Portuguese speaking country. So if they only know how to speak English or they, they only know how to speak any other international language, how will they be able to get jobs in that regard? So there are many companies in Portugal that recruit English speakers, French speakers, Italian speakers, uh, Portuguese speakers, even Russian speakers, and in any other international language. I've seen a, uh, a job, uh, I've seen a job advert asking for Viet Vietnamese speakers. So, I mean, any other international language that you understand, there are many opportunities that you can get like that in Portugal. So, and if you are very lucky, you if you know English with any other international languages like English with French, you know English with Italian, you know English with Portuguese, you know English with maybe Russian or, 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 or French. There are many uh, companies that will be even willing to pay you signing bonus up to 2,000 euro, 3,000 euro just to just for you to be able to work with them. And of course, you can also use this opportunity to negotiate the salary that you want to be paid for knowing how to speak to international language, English with French, English with Italian. And if you are lucky, you know three international language, you will be a hot cake for some of this company. And some of this company are willing to offer you sponsorship visa. So depending on the skills that you want and the type of jobs that you are looking for, uh, we, uh, we have companies that are consistently recruiting for customer service, consistently recruiting for uh, human resource service and the tech space. There are many, many companies in Portugal that are consistently recruiting for tech space. I mean, recently I had uh, an in-law move into Portugal by getting a job in the tech space. The company paid for everything, flight, accommodation, everything. The company took care of everything for him. So if you, if you depending on the on the job that you are looking for, you need to, uh, like I, I usually advise people, if you are looking for jobs in the customer service area, design a CV that address customer service area. If you are looking for a job in the human resource area, design a CV that address human resource area. This way, you will be able to get the attention of, the, of these recruiters. And another thing is, uh, you need to be a legal resident for those who are already in Portugal, except you are look, seeking to apply for sponsorship uh, visa or, uh, or you are look, seeking to apply for jobs that offer sponsorship visa. So if you are already in Portugal, you need to be a legal resident to be able to get some of these jobs. So, and like I usually advise on your CV, state it in capital letter D that you are a legal resident. You have NISS, which is your social security number. You have NIF, which is your tax number. And of course, if some of these things will further attract the attention of these recruiters, although some of some recruiters go ahead to get social security, NIF, and all of those things for their candidates. I mean, my, my social security number was gotten for me by my first company that I worked for in Portugal. But as this uh, as these English speakers and international speakers come into Portugal, they, 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 so these recruiters are looking for candidates that will reduce their burden by these candidates coming in with their own social security number or tax number or, and becoming or, or having a legal paper or legal resident card to work in Portugal. So if you have some of these things, the recruiters will, will I mean, recruiters are willing to quickly consider your CV first before any other person. Another way that you can easily get jobs in Portugal is if you know anybody that is working for uh, some of these companies in Portugal, you can send your CV to them for them to uh, refer you to their recruiter because many companies usually prefer to recruit uh, internally by asking their, uh, their staff to submit or refer their candidate who is uh, who has got the same capacity and skills such as them. So if you know any friends that are working in Portugal, they can easily re refer your uh, CV to their companies. And that way you will be, the minute there is an opportunity, you will be the first person they will contact. Another way that you can easily get job information is to uh, um, 
register on LinkedIn and state there that you live in Portugal and you want to be getting jobs a lot that are advertised in Portugal. So every morning, in fact daily, I, I get nothing less than two to three job adverts that will list different opportunities that are available in terms of language that I've selected, in terms of skills that I've selected in Portugal. So these are ways that you can get up the up to date in terms of jobs that are coming into Portugal or that are advertised in Portugal. So and I've, I've, on this video, I've taken the liberty to address some of the companies that you can, that, that you can apply to search for on their uh, on google or on their website search and submit your cv to them i've taken the liberty to to list a couple of them that are consistently recruiting month by month english speakers french speakers italian speakers portuguese speakers among any other international languages that you understand so i, I took the liberty to address or list them on this youtube channel so submit your cv to them search for them on google try to interact and by submitting your CV and try to take some of the uh, information and advice that I've uh, uh, shared on this YouTube channel so that you'll be able to get jobs to uh, move to Portugal or if you're already in Portugal for you to be able to get jobs because of course if you're living in Portugal you've got to be either you are a, a scholarship student or you are working and schooling so of course you've got to survive and pay bills in Portugal so these are some of the companies as i stated earlier and uh, if you in terms of cv designing your cv if you need any because you cannot be in nigeria uh, the, the way we submit cv to uh, recruiters in nigeria is not the same thing to internet in fact your your cv should be maximum two page so and if you need further assistance on how to design your cv you can always reach out to us and we'll be willing to assist you with that, so like come your way next time, like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we drop some of this information, so now you can jack out or relocate to Portugal, you will be the first to get notification. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.